Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Last Dream. Now, I hate to admit it, but it has been almost a whole week since I've played this. And so I'm a little... Un I remember we left off when I was entering the new area here. Uh, looks like we're doing okay on health. Level 10, that should be... Uh, I'm not really sure where I should be at this point, but that, that's probably plenty high. Okay, right, we we'll just get started right here right with the battle. Um, I was probably stealing from everybody, because that's usually how I play these games. Guard. Attack. Mm, freeze everybody. Cool. That should be fine. So, uh, this battle will probably stay in because... First battle in a long time. Make sure I don't screw stuff up. Uh, it's been a week because I picked up an actual, uh, real, full-time job. Which has been tiring me out, and so I come home from work and I am exhausted. But today is Friday. And so, time to catch up on some gaming. It's been about a week since this game was released. Uh, I have not been following the hype train on YouTube, but I suspect it's not quite at, like, Spelunky or Binding of Isaac level. But this game should be, because this game is absolutely brilliant. I completely love it. Um, let's just... Oh, I can't go up that. I was going to say, let's just go up. I just I think that I want to keep going up, 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 up. I think that's the goal here. Just go up as much as... Well, not up here. Well, if I was an engineer, I'd be fine. And the editing begins. <laughs> uh, just generic enemies. Really no point in showing, showing off all the enemies here. Now, I will admit to something that I'm a little embarrassed about. I did open up the PDF that comes with the game, the guidebook, to see if I was missing anything. And so I've seen a map of this of this area. And I also could not for the life of me remember where I was or what I was doing. That's the problem with some RPGs that you play them and it's just like we got here. Save my game? Uh yeah, please. Confirm that save. Uh you get playing them and then you take a short break and you just forget what it was you're doing. And something that the last dream crew who put this game together did that's just absolutely brilliant. Oh, we have a puzzle here. As I was saying, something that's absolutely brilliant that they did was they um, included a guidebook with the game. Now, as I had suspected, it looks like the pieces I'm moving here are also moving on the other side. And I'm going to take a guess that I need to get these things so that they stand on top of the specific um, spots. Now, this is going to be one that's hard. Because I already screwed it up. I already screwed it up. Dang it! Let's reset it. I think I can do it this time, though. I think I can do it this time. Just do them in the right order. Next, do the blue. Over. Up, up. Over. And then... Uh, am, I, am I screwed? No. Yes! I am screwed. No, I'm not screwed. Calm down, man. You're not screwed. Just fine. Just super easy. There we go. Two chests, leather shoes, leather breastplate. Where's my leather pants? That's the real question. Let's go up to the thief and let's just optimize. Next character. Optimize. Next character. Optimize. Next character. Optimize. Back to the thief one more time. Yep, everybody's good. We're all doing mighty dandy. Looking dapper too with that awesome stuff. Now, like I said, I have looked at this map, and I know that's that's a bit of a spoiler for some of some people. I mean, not a spoiler, but a bit of a deterrent, I guess you could say, a bit of a down, a downer. So I know that at the end of this, there should be a boss. And to be quite honest, anybody who's played an RPG before should know that there's likely going to be a boss here at the end of of a dungeon. So that shouldn't come as much of a surprise. And sure enough, there's the boss. I just saved it. I'm going to save it again because I have save scum mode activated. Let's uh, let's give it a try. Who are we fighting here? You can't have it! It's mine! Giant ogre. Oh, they weren't kidding. This guy is pretty giant. Let's um... Let's just be careful. I think we should be fine. Let's just, you know, let's just do some standard attacks. Nothing amazing. Let's lower his defense. Oh my goodness. This music. I, let me just let me just up the music a little bit here for you. Oh, 
This is beautiful. I'm going to slide that music down a little bit here. Slide it down. There we go. Sorry if that was a little bit unexpected. And this guy. This boss is... I must be super over-leveled or the game is still going easy on me. I didn't think level 10 or 11 would be too much, but maybe I was supposed to come to this area a little earlier. So I got the rune of something. Oh, we got a cutscene. Let's watch. As you touch the rune of... Titurium. Titurium? Let's go with that. As you touch the rune of Titurium, you are struck by another vision. The vision of getting an achievement unlocked. No. About three months after the incident in Alexandria. Welcome back. Were you able to acquire the basalt the ballast stone? Yes, but it took longer than we had expected. An earthquake had blocked the way to the ballast stone. We had to make a new route through the rock to the ballast stone chamber. I'm glad you were able to acquire the ballast stone. The ultimate quister is barely strong enough to contain Nyx. Shall we begin the banishment ritual, Aethra? Yes, let us begin. Before she'll draw power from the Ultima Crystal. Crystals. Well, I draw from the Ballast Stone. Please stop! You're killing me! Should we stop? No, it's a lie. Continue with the ritual. It is nearly complete. Where have you banished him, Aethra? To the Abyss on the southern continent so deep that no one will ever be able to reach him. What is to stop him from making his way up and out of the abyss? Protective fields guard his exit from the deepest level of the abyss. They are filled with the awesome power of the eternal orb. He will never break free unless we release him. Moments later, where am I? It can't be! No! There must be a way out. Ugh! Back at the meeting of the Elder Council. This catastrophe seems to have finally reached a conclusion. It has been several months since we were able to focus on other matters. Indeed, we have a new Elder Council position which must be filled. I believe that Mago would make an excellent Council member. You must be mad! Scipio is the obvious choice to replace Nyx. But what was that? I do not know. I do. It appears that the Eternal Orb has developed an instability due to the enormous strain of banishing Nyx. We must damp the instability before it amplifies. I fear it is too late for us. Lend me your power. One of us must survive! Seconds after the explosion. No, this can't be possible! Aethra, why didn't you save yourself? I don't think I can go on alone. Blessed Fenur. The Ultima Crystals. Destroyed. I didn't think it was even possible. I had best gather the shards and protect them.
It appears the ballast stone survived the explosion intact. Celius' fingers touch the ballast stone. It crumbles to dust. Impossible! It has existed since the oldest Venar histories. Who is that foul soul that could poison our precious artifacts? Another perplexing vision. What could they possibly mean? Might there be a connection between these visions and my path home? Could, could there be a connection? I, I don't know. Let's go out of here. And it puts us on the other side of the mountain, right next to the abyss. Or not the abyss, the oasis. <laughs> Sorry, I was still thinking about that story. That's a, that's an interesting turn of events. I'm not. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're connected, obviously, to what's going on here. You want to start again? No, I've already heard your story. But let's see what you have for sale, because I don't remember stuff I don't need. Awesome. So I think that's probably a sign of, of what's to come. When I touch the next artifact, I suspect I'll get another vision about what happened to the crystals. The crystal shards, I guess I should say. Um, how do I get... I think it's up, there's a bridge, and then back around. Now, I've gone through one of the artifact gathering events. I could just go through the forest. I guess I've become really powerful, having hit level 10. Seems to have, like, unlocked ultimate super instant boss killing technique. So anyway, as I was saying, I seem to have become really powerful. I guess I could try the forest again. Let's sleep at the inn, get our HP back. Um, check out some of those recipes that I've gotten. Let's stay for free. And we were able to stay for free. I was able to kill those guards with no sweat. No problem at all, really. Um, let's also save here at this, at this guy. Now, I just killed a bunch of guards in front of the priest, and he doesn't seem to mind. He still accepts me as a child. I assume he means child of God or something along those lines. So that's cool. You know what? Awesome. No sweat. Let's sell any excess we have over 15. Which gave me quite a bit of gold. Although I I'm not sure how much I had before I did that, but now I have tons. Let's take a look at those crafting recipes, see if there's anything in here I can get. I'm feeling like I, sh I could try out the forest. I'm feeling like the forest. Um, what do I get to get the more so? Awesome. No sweat. Last thing I need to do is, um, check my shield. No shield here that I can get that'd be any better. Uh, so I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's, um, get out of here. And do I want to go to the forest or do I want to go get the other artifact? I think I want to go get the other artifact because I want to do both. I want to get the artifacts and go through the forest. So I'm going to head up here. Um, I'm just going to walk my way back to that tower. Cutting out all the random encounters as we go. I think I remember where it is, but if I don't... Do I, do I have a map? I do. I have the map. Uh, here we go. Are there any treasures that I've missed? Doesn't look like it. Where I need to go is here. To the forest tower. And where I'm at now is up here. So, you know what? Let's just Let's just go. Let's just walk it. My guys could use some exercise, and to be honest, I could use a little bit of refresher on the map. I'm pretty excited about this, to be honest. That, f that boss was really easy. Oh! What's that? Over there, there's a guy. Uh, but I can't get him because the bridge is out. Oh, shoot. Um, that's probably one of those monsters I have to kill for the, um... 
the Hunter's Guild. And I would love to go over there and beat him up, because I guess I'm freaking Superman over here, fighting everything, killing bosses in like two rounds or whatever. But I can't get to him, so let's just wait off on that. It's always raining on this side of the, um... As I was saying, it's always raining on the side of the mount of the... Not the mountains, the side of the bridge. Which is a really neat effect, don't get me wrong. I like that weather effect. And it's in the battles too, which is really cool. It'd be nice if it was like spontaneous or random, but I assume that the engine doesn't support that. Uh, let's keep going down from here, I think? Is that right? Either way, it doesn't matter if I'm going in the wrong direction, because it's just more chance... As I was saying there, it's just more chance for random encounters, which are good. It's not that way. Let me, let me open up the map. I don't want to be wandering forever. It is. It's up and to the left. Okay. Right. So that was not very far. I probably didn't cut any of that out because it was really, really close. A lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Let's save Scum. Right out here. Confirm that save. And let's head in here. Got some more good music. Let this monument stand as the last remains of the elven civilization, Helios. This place is the tomb of Elder of Elder Council. I think it's supposed to say of the Elder Council. Here lies Tethys, Domus, Titurium, and Aethra. May the Varnus bless their souls. That's pretty neat. Let me go right ahead and take, take just a second here. I'm going to click away from the game. You might notice that whatever... You might not notice that the game might not actually move. Or not move, I shouldn't say not move. The game might not actually show that I've clicked away. We're back. Get my mouse cursor in here. Let's um, let's explore this place. Okay, so these crystals appear to be teleporters. Be my guess. That's cool. Whatever. We'll go with it. All right, we're fighting some slightly stronger enemies, but nothing we can't handle. Uh, I did level up. Everybody's now at eleven. So let's go ahead and take a couple seconds here. If you notice the video speed up, my voice get a little. Chipmunky. I bet you expected back to normal. I believe when I last left off, I was trying to up my cap a bit, my agility a bit, my HP a bit more. I thought myself actually empty. Move on to this character. Definitely more HP. I mean, our white mage is, um, soft. We don't want her to take a ton of damage. Let's get a guard up a little, too. I'm only very good to resist those magic spells that come in and hit everybody. Some more HP? No, I'm good. Why not, right? Pretty simple, pretty basic. Now, for this guy, obviously what we've been doing has been working out pretty well. Because his, his stats are doing mighty fine. Let's do two into the defense. Five into the attack. Three. And one. Oh, yeah. Um, black major. Let's keep giving the end. I'll give him a bunch of HP. Magic guard. MP. Oh, yeah. Didn't take very long. Let's actually check our skills while we're here. See if there's anything good we can learn. I bet you would get some of these higher level 2000 MP uh, passes, but I also understand I need to get some of these lower level ones too, because I'm kind of falling behind. Let's get the hamstring. On the white mage. Um, she has enough to learn something. Is anything I feel like I'm good? That could be nice, because I think that'll make whoever it is to attack first. Let's, let's find a better heal. Let's get the better heal. We should have the right nature that need to be using attacks or anything like that. Just basic skills. Just get all the uh, prereqs out of the way. Okay, we're sitting with enough. With enough SP to get one of these level 4 spells. I actually think I want the, um, the warp one. I kind of want this powerhouse one because I can really supercharge one of my attackers. But I think the healing this warp is going to be incredibly useful later in the game. And there we go. All finished. Um... I don't know which of these two. I, this looks like it's kind of one of those dungeons where it's a bit of a uh, puzzle, in a sense, a bit of a maze. The Crystal Shroud is safe, and Nyx has not broken free from his imprisonment. Helios, 13021, RV. Construction proceeds on the forest tower. The excavation of the basement took far longer than expected. My earth elemental dark arts were never exemplary. Helios, 1357, RV. Alright, took a little bit of damage there, but we're not doing horrible at this point. I think we're going to be okay. We'll probably be able to make it through this. The enemies here are tougher than in the last dungeon, but to be honest, not by a ton. And that's, I guess I can't read that. That's not a, it's not a tablet to read. Blaze Bomb, Longbow, Lance... So I'm not sure what I do with the lance. The lance might be something I can't actually use. Weapons. 
Lance? Where are you, Lance? There you are. Knight can use the Lance. I can buy it at the weapon shop, but it's much, much weaker than the weapons we've got. Maybe that's why my characters are so buff right now. Perhaps, as I was saying, perhaps we've um, over-equipped ourselves with those customizable creations that I've made um, by crafting. Let's just keep going here. I don't know if these color things are supposed to be like... As I was saying, I'm not sure if the colored um, lanterns are supposed to kind of give me a hint about which way is the right way to go. But whatever. I don't mind going and exploring these areas. I don't mind at all, to be honest with you. Yeah, let's go this way. And check it. This plaque stands as a commemoration of the 750th year anniversary of this terrible explosion that decimated this place. Helios. This plaque stands as a commemoration of 500... Oh, okay, so they're all like commemoration plaques. 500 FE in the human dating system. So the humans must have had a different calendar that they've been working off of here. After 372 years, the forest tower has finally been rebuilt. Helios, 13172 RV in the Valor dating system, or 372 FE in the human dating system. Cool. Description reads, 01123583013. There are empty slots for the next three numbers. What are they? Oh, crap. Um... Okay, we can figure this out. I think this is the one where you take the number and you add it to the one behind it. So 0 and 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 5 is 13, 13 plus 8 is 21, 21 plus 13, oh crap, see now I can't remember, was it 13? Oh, uh, 21 and 13. 21 and 13. Um, I should have written this down, to be honest with you, but let's go ahead and think 21 and 13. This should be it, right? So we're at 13, 21. Uh, sorry if you saw my mouse cursor there. And now I'm writing in 34 and hitting getting go on this. And then 34 plus 21. So, yeah. Okay, I don't know why I was so nervous. I thought I was going to make a mistake and feel like an idiot if I was adding those numbers wrong, so I wanted to write it out just to be certain that I wasn't going to do something foolish. But you know what? It, it was an easy puzzle, but we're still at the beginning of the game. I assume that these will get much more difficult as time goes on. Uh, Alright, played out another monster there. Let's just keep pushing on. I must admit, I'm a little, little bit lost right now. But you know what? We're getting all the stuff, so no complaints. I haven't been having too much trouble with the enemies, but I do need to remember to heal up after some of these fights. There we go. They, uh, they're getting a couple of cheap shots in on my healer. Kind of annoying. But not horrible. And I guess this was, as I was saying, I guess that was the wrong way. Let's go this way. A little bit of backtracking here, but you know what, that, that's okay. I think we're still doing fine. We're not running low on health or anything. We should be okay. But we are running a little short on, as I was saying, we are getting a little short on time. Because to be honest, I'm going to have to edit these battles out, and I have no idea how close we are to hitting like a certain... What's this? Transparent walls block the way. Oh crap, really? Oh! Shoot. Well... Um... I was saying we are getting a little short on time because I have to edit out the battles and I have no idea how much time that's going to add, or so I should say subtract from the video. But let's do this transparent puzzle thing. At least until I run into a random battle, because if this place is battle free, I don't mind sitting here for a little bit and chatting with you guys. Let's try this way. This might be... nope. 
<laughs> this, this might be uh, the right way. Negative. Um, let's go down, down, over, back. Okay. You know what? <laughs> um, let's save this for next time. Let me go ahead and drop a save here. And next time, I think we'll push our way through this transparent wall. And I'm not sure if I'm at the bottom or the top of this place, but either way, I need to get, I assume, to the top. It's always your goal in these towers, get to the top. So until next time, friends, have a good day and take care. Best wishes.